Hello and welcome to this new Grand MFE tutorial. In this tutorial I would like to show you how you can use screen configurations to set up your views for the different screen sizes on the different consoles, such like a Grand MFE full size or light or a compact or compact XT which have a little bit smaller screen or even though the on PC setups you might use at home. So let's jump right into it. The problem you might um, know and you might uh, have been dealing with in the past is you uh, set up a show file at home on a big monitor at home on your own PC workstation and you take the show file to the venue and uh, you put a USB stick in the console and load up a show file and all your views are a bit too big for the screens on the console and you start by um, scrolling around in your views such as I'm doing here. It's a bit tedious and I want to show you a way how you can set up uh, your show file and your views to get rid of it. So most of you might be familiar with the concept of um, making your own user and your own user profile. For uh, the ones of you who might don't know, I explain it in a short way. You go to the menu, you go to settings and user configuration. Here you can create your own user, give it a name, and you also can create a new user profile. and then you can apply the user profile to the user and you also can export your user and your user profile here you can export your user which i would uh, highly recommend and you can also um, it, you can export your user profile and you can uh, not here but in the import export menu you can also export your users um, and you can carry your users and user profiles around and load them in to your uh, consoles you're working with and um, if you have a user, you can create your views and they are stored in the different users. For example, I see. And this screen configuration is stored in the test user and if I uh, log in with my my user you can type in the command line log in and then the username you get a total bunch of other views you created for this user. Um, this is a concept of user profiles which most of you might be familiar with. Mm. What most of you might don't know is where this screen configuration tab is for. The screen configuration tab stores the screen configuration, the size of the screen. For example, I made here another one, which is called Grand MA3 Lite. And if I leave, now you can see this grayed out area here. Before I could um, store different pools are in here but now it's grayed out because I set it to. The other areas um, are still open for configuration and you can also make one for, for compact which has um, the encoder or the letterbox screens, um, also the compact and the compact XD don't have the letterbox screens where the encoder section 
is shown and therefore this moves up into the screen of the console and you have less space. You can see it here, this area is also grayed out. And this would be the usable space for a compact. Now I want to show you how you can set this up. Um, therefore, I would recommend doing um, the following steps. Um, the screen configurations are st stored within the user. I can show you. Here I have the screen configuration Grand Emmy Free Light and Compact, but the admin doesn't have the screen configurations. It's here are only the default screen for configurations for this user. So the thing with that is if you right click and make a new screen configuration, screen configuration six, and you leave, all your views or your view button configurations are gone. Your views are um, still here. If you bring up the view pool and all your views are here, but the view buttons are gone. And if you don't want to do this again and again and assign them again, I would recommend of doing the following thing. You um, should go in here select this one and then you should copy screen config one which is a default one you might all have used before at six for example which was the newly created one and then we say please and yes we want to override it now it's called default and we can label it so that we know what's it, what this is about and we might call it um, test random a free light now we are logged in with our user and the user profile is applied and we made a new screen configuration by copying the default one to um, the new configured screen configuration now we leave this menu and here we still have all this space left. Now you go to the menu and you go here to the display and configure display. Normally that, uh, this would be set on an on PC to um, something like this. And here it takes in, within the scale of uh, 0.75 a width of 24 by a height of 10 and if you have a scale of 1 it's the buttons are bigger but you have less screen space I normally use on my own PC this ones and the brackets show that this is um, this, this value is set up to your screen automatically but you can go in here and change that and the screen size of a grand emmy free light is 18 by 10. now we got this gray area here and you don't have to store it again when we change back to default for example we have this usable area again and if we go in user and change it back to the newly made newly created one we have it here and 
last but not least, we could do this one more time again. And we say, oops. You don't have to be in here. You can do it from the command line from wherever you are. I copy the default screen configuration from my user, which is one at seven. So I make a new one. Here, here we got it. And then we relabel it. And now we want to set up the size for compact. So we go to configure display. And the size for compact is 18 by 8. I hope this is a bit helpful for um, setting up your own screen configurations. And now if you make a delete the screen, you can only apply, or make your views in this area. Uh, one last thing I should mention is um, that you have to do this for all of your screens. I only did it for screen one. And you can see here, um, I have the maximum screen um, space left to configure. So you also have to go in here and it's the same thing. You go to menu, configure display, and you have to um, set it up for each screen. And the last screen. Eight. Which uh, I think makes no sense for doing it for a compact because the compact only uses one screen. But um, I think you get the point and you get to know that um, you have to do this for each screen. So, um, Thanks for listening. I hope to see you in the next one.